Hi, Sophie. It's so good to see you. I've been wondering if maybe you've been avoiding me because I have texted you, I've emailed you, I tried to call you, and you just never get back to me. So I'm wondering what's going on and how I can help you get going on this assignment because we don't have all that long and you seem to be really lost. So I wish you would be more communicative so we could figure out how to get this going. But I do wonder if maybe the problem is, is you just really do not know how to follow the directions. So everything in life is a direction, whether it's how to get to the store or write an essay or do something on your job. So there's two key points to following directions. One is reading them, every one of them closely. The second one is if you're given an evaluation at the end of the directions, like if you do it this way, you'll get this type of a grade or performance or whatever, then you need to be looking at both, both the written instructions and the grading scale. And then take your grading scale, open up a Microsoft Word document, and then just abbreviate every point on the grading scale, write it at the top of your Microsoft Word document, here is an example of an assignment with five grading criteria in red. After you write your paper based on the grading criteria, delete all your red text and put in appropriate transitions between your paragraphs. So whether you are online or in a class or at, at work, it's always important to follow every direction from start to finish and make sure you see if there's any grading involved with it. And also, you can always find directions on YouTube if you're looking for anything. So, everybody and Sophie, I really hope you're listening this time.